who will be the villain or villains in The Matrix 4. There is still very little that we know officially about the plot of the next installment in the Matrix franchise outside of some leaked pictures and videos from the movie set, which recently included the potential spoiler of Trinity's real name, Tiffany. Yet there is still a universal fact. The story needs a new villain, an antagonist to face Neo and the humans. There is still no official information on who will be Neo's new nemesis, but there are some speculations. The audience needs an evil figure to loathe, a character for them to deposit all of their hatred upon. It's an important element for many types of fiction, especially science fiction. In the case of The Matrix, it is the machines, and especially Agent Smith. Agent Smith would be the safest choice to return as the main villain. He is iconic, almost as much as Neo himself, a common enemy for both humans and machines. Yet unfortunately, actor Hugo Weaving who played Agent Smith in the original Matrix trilogy will not be reprising his role in Matrix 4 due to scheduling conflicts and other commitments. But Lana Wachowski, one of the original creators and directors who is also directing the new film, has expressed interest in the return of Agent Smith. Hugo not returning to the role doesn't necessarily mean that Smith can't make an appearance. Well. Not physically anyway, Smith could appear as some kind of virus, or he could take on a new form. There is a rumor that's been circulating the internet and media about Morpheus possibly being the new villain in Matrix 4. Sure it does seem far-fetched, but we highly recommend you watch our previous video discussing the rumor. The Matrix online video game continues the events of the Matrix Revolutions. The plot of the game is canon to the franchise. Much of its story was centered around the Merovigian and the chaos he caused in the Matrix after the death of Neo. His actions forced the humans and machines to work together in order to stop him. He is also suspected of being involved in the death of Morpheus. The Merovigian was already a kind of sub-villain in the Matrix Reloaded, but with the actor Lambert Wilson returning as the Merovigian in Matrix 4, he could be upgraded into a main villain, the main antagonist. The Matrix Online also introduced a new bad guy into the series, the General. The General is a program in the Matrix whose purpose was to restart the war between humans and machines. He is now an exiled program, but was originally a sentinel, the one who led the attack on the human city of Zion in Matrix Revolutions. So technically, his first appearance was in the films. But after the truce between the humans and the machines was established, he was left without a purpose. The general was extremely dissatisfied with the outcome of the war, so he used a pirated signal to find and unify the machines who shared in his hatred and desire to reignite conflict between humans and machines. Thus he began to sow the seeds of war. The plot of The Matrix 4 still remains a mystery as of this video. So there is no way of knowing if the Matrix Online story arc is going to influence the story of the upcoming movie, if it will use any of the story elements created or established in the game. Even though it is officially acknowledged as canon by the franchise's creators, the Wachowskis, however fans have made it known the appearance of several helicopters at the movie's filming location in San Francisco. Why is this important? Well because the General's primary method of transportation and operation in the Matrix is military helicopters. And with the Merovigian's return, the General could be working for him. Yet these are all conjectures of possible routes the story could take. But the most likely possibility is that the villain or villains will be brand new characters, played by the many new cast members. The number one candidate for the part of the Matrix's new villain is Neil Patrick Harris. Famous for his role in the television sitcom How I Met Your Mother, this will be the actor's breakout role in a major movie franchise. And he was recently caught on camera at the Berlin set of The Matrix 4 with Carrie Ann Moss and Keanu Reeves. Seeing him arriving on set with the two main protagonists reaffirms that his role is indeed an important one. But what exactly will his role be? We have already established that he might be the new villain in the story. Why? Well this may shock some of you, but Harris may be playing a younger looking version of the architect. 
Yes, the architect is a program, but nothing says that his likeness wasn't based on a real human. A human who created a new virtual reality technology before the war, and the machines commandeered it and used the creator's likeness in the program as a form of irony. This idea that admittedly came out of nowhere is related to the rumor that Yahya abdul Mati II is going to play a young Morpheus. So now we have a young Morpheus and a young architect. Yet there is another role that Harris might be playing, and it is the one that many people seem to agree upon. Harris is going to play a villain, but not a program. The main antagonist of Matrix 4 will not be from the Matrix or the Machine City, but from the opposite party, a human enemy. Think about it. We already have one trilogy of films, three video games, multiple comics and animated shorts that depicts the machines as the bad guys. The original films had Agent Smith as the main baddie, but he was still a part of the machines. It would be too predictable if the humans are having to fight the machines all over again. It would be unimaginative, maybe even boring and disappointing, especially after the events of Matrix Revolutions. But if this time, the real threat comes from within their own group, it would be an interesting twist that the film can benefit greatly from. But what motivations could a human have to betray their own species? Cypher Cypher from the first Matrix movie wanted to return to the system. He did not want to remember the truth about humanity and the state of the real world. This belief, established by Cypher's actions, could be what drives this new human enemy believing that staying within the Matrix is humanity's best option. Maybe Harris's character was promised the opportunity to live in a perfect world simulation without suffering and without fear, though this has been attempted before with poor results. In the Matrix Online, there is an extremist group of humans that share that philosophy, the Cypherites. So there are characters in the established canon that believes in this, so their possible appearance in the next film isn't impossible at all. This plot device may also seem recycled. However, there is still one more possible alternative in which a human could become the villain in Matrix 4. Take into account the changes that happened after the Matrix revolutions. In the movies, it is well established that almost all humans in the real world have head jacks, computer ports implanted in the back of their necks used to connect them into the Matrix. However, with the peace that was formed between the humans and the machines, it is highly probable that the humans in the real world began to procreate at a massive rate. Babies being born without head jacks, just like Tank, Dozer, and Z. Perhaps Neil Patrick Harris's character is one of them, born outside of the Matrix. Many years could have passed since the war against the machines ended. He was raised in the real world, but fantasizes with the idea that humans can live in a better world and feels that he must take back the power his ancestors lost to lead the humans to the next best thing, a virtual world governed by humans. This sense of altruism will lead him to become an enemy of both humans and machines. His actions could be interpreted as a declaration of war from the humans, and the machines will act accordingly based on that threat. And if that's the case, how will Neo and Trinity stop him? But what do you think? Who do you think is going to be the villain in The Matrix 4? Is it Agent Smith, Neil Patrick Harris, or someone else? For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.